Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, with Bluehost being the host of over 2 million websites and a lot of you guys asking about it, I thought it'd be worth reviewing so that we can figure out whether or not it's a good choice for you and your situation. Now, having such a vast customer base may be enough evidence that they are doing something right. Their uptime is reliable, server speeds are good, and all of their hosting plans pack useful features for beginners and intermediates alike. However, there are a few downsides too, like higher renewal prices and some restrictions on the cheapest plan. We'll talk all about that in this review, and if at any point you want to jump straight to pricing or discounts, you'll find all that in the description down below. Alright, now Bluehost has been around since 2003, so they have plenty of experience to know what makes a hosting service excellent. Their introductory prices are affordable, customer support is helpful and easy to reach, and you get many useful features to go with your hosting plan. In addition, they provide reliable uptime and fast server speeds. Now let's take a more detailed look at Bluehost's strong points. Starting with uptime, which is one of the most critical aspects when choosing a web host. After all, if your site is down, your users will not be able to access it. So consistent uptime should be one of your top priorities when looking at hosting services. And after reviewing many web hosts, the benchmark for good uptime is between 99.91% and 99.93%. So ideally, you don't want to see anything less than that. And the good news is that Bluehost easily surpasses this benchmark, comfortably maintaining 99.98% of uptime during the last six months. The total downtime was one hour. There were some poor months, mainly May and July of 2022, where the uptime was below average, but overall, Bluehost kept my site up and running without any bigger outages. Now regarding load speed, according to research conducted by Google, as page time load goes from 1 to 3 seconds, the probability of bounce increases 32%. This translates to your visitors being 32% more likely to leave your site, and it only gets worse with longer page load times. Furthermore, Google is more geared towards mobile-first indexing, and this means that your site also needs to be optimized for mobile users, or otherwise you're losing traffic. Either way, a slow website almost always means less traffic and therefore lower sales numbers. So right after uptime, page loading time is the second most important thing that can make or break your website's success. Now, my test site with Bluehost has offered an average load speed of 430 milliseconds over the past half a year. This isn't exactly the fastest speed I've seen among other hosts, comparably with Hostinger, which had better numbers, but it's still good enough to keep visitors on your site. But they have been improving their load time month to month, which is quite reassuring. Now, I want to briefly talk about pricing. Now, Bluehost's default pricing starts at $2.95 a month, which is an introductory price from the regular $9.99 a month. However, the good news is that I've been able to work out a deal with Bluehost that drops the price down even further, which again, you'll find in the description down below if you're interested. And for this price, you get pretty much everything you need for a single website. That includes 10 gigabytes of SSD storage, unmetered bandwidth, a free SSL certificate, and more, and you'd be getting a pretty good value for the price, plus their consistent uptime and page loading speeds. Still, the cheapest plan does have a few restrictions that I'm not entirely happy with, but more on this later. Now, since Bluehost is one of the most budget-friendly options on the market, I'm pleased to see that they don't cut too many corners on critical security options and features. Already with the cheapest plan, Bluehost provides your website with a free SSL certificate. You also get great features like a free CDN or Cloudflare, a free domain for a whole year, a one-click WordPress install, multiple CMS integrations, and additional e-commerce plugins. Higher tier plans come with the spam expert add-ons, domain privacy protection, and server backups. Also, you get more advanced security features such as SiteLock, which helps prevent malware attacks. Uh, CodeGuard, which is another form of protection, providing daily backups so you can roll back previous versions of a site should it get hacked. And Postini from Google is the final security tool worth noting. It provides spam protection for your email, so anything suspicious is prevented from getting into your inbox. So as far as security, Bluehost got that covered, even with the introductory plan, which is always great to see. Now, next up is ease of use, which is very important because some of the web hosts I've seen can be considered the best only if you're an advanced user. 
but Bluehost is great for beginners too. Their customer portal is intuitive and clean, and you can access your site under My Sites and get add-ons from the marketplace. Uh, everything is made very simple, and the client area is very beginner-friendly. If you don't want to use WordPress, you can also begin creating a website using a website builder tool such as Weebly or Drupal. You can then customize a template by just dragging and dropping elements on your page. But not to worry, Bluehost also has features for advanced users who want to use their code to create their site. Now, customer service can be just as important as security and features, and Bluehost provides 24-7 customer support over live chat, phone support, and an email ticketing system. On top of that, they have a vast knowledge base packed with answers to frequent questions and useful information. I went ahead and tested their live chat support and the experience was overall pleasant. My conversation with the customer support representative was professional and all of my questions were answered in a timely manner. Okay, now, if you already have a site and want to switch to Bluehost's hosting plan, then this perk is for you. Bluehost only recently started offering a free site transfer with all of their plans. However, there are a couple of terms to this service. First, the site needs to be a WordPress site. And secondly, you have to request the migration within the first 30 days after signing up with a hosting plan. All you need to do is contact their customer support team and follow their directions. The migration usually takes around one to three business days to complete. And if you don't have a WordPress site or have more than one, then it will cost you $150. And this gets you up to five website migrations and 20 email account migrations. Though, just to offer you a little tip, it's a good idea to check with their customer support whether your site built by any other builder than WordPress is supported by their servers for migration. For example, I know for a fact that sites built with Wix are not eligible for transfer. So always check with the customer support before you pay $150 for website migration. All right, now before moving on to the downsides of Bluehost, it's important to note that WordPress is the most widely used website platform on the market. Around 42% of the entire internet is built with WordPress. And it's safe to say that they have an authoritative word when it comes to hosting solutions. WordPress only officially recommends three hosting partners to use with a WordPress site. And that includes Bluehost, Dreamhost, and SiteGround. And of course, you can use almost any web hosting provider to create a WordPress site. But the fact that Bluehost is one of the few officially recognized partners is certainly encouraging. All right, now, although Bluehost has some great perks going for their hosting service, there are a couple of hiccups as well. Even though I'm happy to see such low introductory prices, the renewal rates can be a little bit too steep. Now, let's take a closer look at the downsides, starting with the renewal rates. Now, the best way to get the lowest possible price for hosting is to prepay for one, two, or even three years upfront. The average monthly price decreases, but you're also committing hundreds of dollars in advance. Now rest assured, you can use the 30-day money-back guarantee to get a refund if you don't like their service. However, once the initial plan duration is over, you can expect a steep rise in the rates. Let's say you commit to the cheapest plan for three years, which is $2.95 a month. After the initial period, the next period's renewal price starts at $9.99 a month with a three-year commitment. In this case, the subsequent period is three times more expensive than the first, so it's something to be mindful of so that you're not surprised the next time you're charged for your subscription. Another potential downside is the fact that Bluehost's cheapest shared hosting plan comes with some heavy restrictions. You can only have a single website, the storage space is limited to 10 gigabytes, and the only security features you get is a free SSL certificate and Cloudflare. So if you have multiple sites or you want more security, you have to go for at least the next pricing tier, which is twice as expensive. Sadly, such restrictions on the cheapest plan are quite common in the web hosting industry. The companies compete over who can lure the customers in with the lowest price, only to upsell a decent hosting service at a higher price. Also, if you're going with the cheapest plans, Bluehost will run courtesy backups at their discretion. Any backups that Bluehost runs are in addition to their terms of service and are not guaranteed. And so they do recommend that customers run periodic backups through the provided cPanel. Bluehost recommends that you store such backups off-site on your local system. But if you want automated backups, you'll have to go with the Choice Plus plan and above. Alright, so by now you're probably thinking, what's the bottom line? Do I recommend Bluehost? 
Well, to put it simply, yes I do. Even though Bluehost has performed slightly better in the past, they still provide a reliable service with decent server speeds. Also, they offer strong security features, a great money back guarantee, plenty of user friendly apps, an easy to use cPanel and multiple tiers of hosting packages suitable for different customers. The pricing starts at $2.95 a month, but with the special discount, you can get it for even cheaper. Still, Bluehost isn't perfect though. The hosting plan's renewal rates will increase dramatically after the initial sign-up period, and the cheapest plan has some critical restrictions compared to the next tiers. But overall, Bluehost delivers decent performance and good value for your money, especially if you're a beginner looking for a great web host with award-winning customer support that'll hold your hand throughout the entire process until your site is up and running. So that'll be it for this review guys. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And also a like and subscribe would be very helpful for me and it will keep you guys up to date with future videos and reviews. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.